In this lecture, we are going to understand the construction of rigid pavement, known as RCC road. Diagram showing the components of rigid pavement, RCC surface on top, over a PCC surface, with a separation membrane in between. The benefits of constructing a RCC pavement is that, they are longer lasting than compared to flexible pavement, a bitumen road. The RCC road has better flexural strength, due to which there is lesser deflection. Less water logging so that less maintenance required. Pavement will not affect it in case of automobile fuel spillage. Structural design of a rigid pavement is based upon slab action. The top course, is reinforced concrete. This helps to distribute the load in a larger area. RCC roads have lower maintenance costs, though it has higher initial investment costs. Most commonly used materials in construction of a RCC road are cement, coarse aggregate, fine aggregate, and water. For a complete guide on properties, characteristics, and use of these materials, please refer to Course 03, Basic and Advanced Concepts of Concrete. Cement is a substance that sets and hardens independently, and can bind other materials together. It is manufactured by carefully proportioning a mixture of lime, silica, gypsum, and alumina, which is fed into ovens at 1500 degrees Celsius. The mixture forms clinker, which is then grind to fineness. Aggregates consists of sand, gravel, and stones, either crushed, or uncrushed or a suitable combination of them. They should be strong, hard, dense, durable, and free from injurious amount of alkalis. They should comply with Indian Standard Code 383. Water to be used, should be free from acids, alkalis, organic matter, and oils. Water wastage should be minimized. Ensure, water is not wasted for cleaning machinery and equipment. Also, ensure proper leak-proof plumbing systems are in use. Base course, commonly called WBM or WMM layer, is the layer directly below the PCC layer. Its primary function is load distribution and support the cement concrete layers. Sub-base course is the layer under the base layer, commonly made from compacted yellow soil, used to improve soil conditions. Refer to Lecture 33.03 for detailed guide. Construction of rigid pavement. Separation membrane is a plastic sheet spread over top or bottom of PCC layer. It is HDP or LDP sheet, with thickness ranging from 200 micron to 1 millimeter, depending upon requirements. Ensure that it does not tear while placing and pouring the concrete. The laying shall be done with overlapping from the ends. It prevents hydrostatic pressure and water loss from concrete. It also helps for anti-termite in case of grade floor. The leveling course in rigid pavement is PCC. The PCC layer is provided to get an even and hard strata for concrete placing. The surface course, the top layer, in a rigid pavement is reinforced cement concrete layer. Made up of mixture of cement, sand, coarse aggregates and water, reinforcing by the TMT rods. The side forms are fixed properly in position so as to fulfill the desired profile of the finished pavement. TMT bars of suitable diameter should be placed in longitudinal and transverse direction according to loading. It might be required in both side, top and bottom, depending upon loading. Joints on surface. Required as it allows the surface to get expand in high temperature without harming it. Please refer lecture 03.20 for joints in rigid pavement. Then the concrete is poured in forms by manually or mechanically. The RCC pavement slab serves as both as a strong base course and as a good surface course. Trimix is a vacuum process, in which surplus water from the concrete is removed immediately after placing and vibration. This reduces the water cement ratio to the optimum level, thereby decreasing voids and increasing strength of concrete. Please refer Lecture 03.17 for Trimix. Concrete has excellent strength, durability, and workability. With ever increasing demands of wear and tear to roads, concrete roads are much superior in terms of maintenance and life of the top surface. Though the RCC roads have higher investments costs, over the life of road, RCC are cheaper. 
ensure the RCC road design considers loadings and weather effects.